Definitely not a very cool feeling day out there. The humidity has been back up. If you notice the dew points coming back up to around 70, which is kind of the magic number. When we show you that number, you get to that level and it starts to get really kind of sticky out there and uh, it gets a little higher than that toward the summertime, but very humid air. And if you look at the week coming up, we have kind of a good bit of mugginess in the air today. It fluctuates a little bit between day and night all the way up through Friday and then whew, it goes down. That's the next cold front. You can tell when the front comes through, the north winds will come back and dry out the air, but this, that's not until Friday evening or Saturday. So until then, you have the rest of today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and most of Friday, as in some warm, humid weather hanging around. So it will be a little muggy if you're out there in the next several days. And the satellite radar does show a lot of clouds around, but very little rain. One little disturbance passing by has kept the showers mostly to the north. We showed you earlier there might be a couple sprinkles near South Padre Island and eastern Cameron, eastern Wilsey counties, but there's very little rain. There's, models do show that another disturbance back here is also helping to kick off a couple showers and storms in the mountains of Mexico. This right here, when you look at the time frame at it, right there, that may drift overhead by late tonight or near sunrise tomorrow. So you could see another round of a few showers or sprinkles late tonight and say through the morning hours. So chances of rain will put it at about 20% in the morning hours on Tuesday, but after that we're back to dry weather and even then our rainfall amounts are probably a few hundredths of an inch or less than a tenth of an inch everywhere at the most. So no drop busting rains yet, but there could be a little hope again late in the week with the next cold front. Your day planner tomorrow, if you're making any plans, warm and humid in the morning, sprinkles, maybe a light shower between 8 a.m. Well, before then, even 3 or 4 a.m. up through 8 a.m. and before noon. After that, we're back to breezy, warm and humid weather in the afternoon. Temperatures in the 80s tomorrow, gusts about 25 to maybe 30 miles per hour at times, but the warm and humid conditions continue with dry conditions in the afternoon. So highs tomorrow, hottest in the upper valley, could touch 90 or so around the Rio Grande City. Mostly 80s, the closer you get toward the lower valley and 70s along the coast, but the breeze is picking up from the southeast. will be around almost all week through Friday. And future track overnight again shows clouds around most of the night, partly to mostly cloudy, and then you notice at after midnight or so, future track shows well on this model run had a couple little blips there, mainly offshore. But when the clouds are thick as the night, there might be a little shower sprinkle in there somewhere. But you see how it shows almost no rain. There's another little round of a couple little blips on the forecast. So again, a little shower sprinkle here and there through the morning hours. After that, we're back to what should be humid and breezy weather tomorrow with uh, similar conditions to today. Looking into the future, we have to look all the way into Friday for some changes. Here's Friday at 6 a.m. A cold front comes out of Canada, gets into central Texas early Friday morning, could approach the valley by Friday evening. Ahead of the front, it's very warm on Friday, but along the front, there could be a few showers, maybe even a thunderstorm Friday evening. We'll keep tracking that. Behind it, it will be likely some of that light rain shower activity that comes in later Friday night and Saturday. So don't be surprised if, if you're making plans for the weekend that by Saturday, it could be one of those overcast, gray, kind of a little bit off and on rain type of days, but a much cooler day as that cool air comes in. We could be talking about temperatures not getting out of the 60s on Saturday and maybe not much warmer than that on Sunday. So first one five Aki weather forecast tonight. A warm night tonight, though, 71 degrees for a low, maybe a sprinkle or shower late tonight and tomorrow back up to 87. If there is a shower, it's most likely through the morning hours and it's back to partly to mostly cloudy. St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. I don't know if you're celebrating. I don't even know if I'm Irish. But <laughs> the answer to both of those questions is still going to be warm no matter what you're doing tomorrow. Uh, after that, warm and humid on Wednesday, 88, near 90 on Thursday for the first day of spring. Still stays close to 90 in some areas Friday, but there could be a shower storm in the evening. The chances at least at about 40%. And then behind it, some clouds, showers. And look at those chilly temperatures on Saturday. May not get out of the low 60s and closer to 70 by Sunday. So we do have some changes. You have to wait until the weekend, though, in your first 1-5 forecast on Channel 5 News at 5.